The good news, all of the schools in our local counties got pretty good grades. Out of the most recent inspection reports, the lowest grade was a 93, and that's an A. But we wanted to see it in action, so I took a tour of Paul Knox Middle School in North Augusta to show you what it takes to make the food grade. It's every student's favorite period of the day. A chance to refuel and to be in charge. Choosing to have one of these and maybe a little of that. And while they eat, they talk. Without fear of being shushed until the bell rings. And they all filter back to class. But when it's quiet out here, that's when the kitchen springs to action. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Marie Davenport is the food service manager at Paul Knox Middle. Ladies, I need numbers, please. She showed us what happens behind the serving lines. Everything looks very neat. Yes, it's all about presentation. Every tray, entree, and serving spoon has a home with a very particular set of rules like temperature. This has to be kept at at least 135 or higher, the hot. And the cold needs to be below, they say 40, but I like it a little bit lower. So it's got to be really in the 30s. She carries a thermometer at her side to make sure it stays that way and temps the food when they bring it out and between lunches. Like in the calzone, and we will bring that in here. So what are you looking for to make it? 135 or higher. So that's 158. Right. So it just came out of our warmer, so it's going to be a little higher. Around the corner. This is where the real work is. <laughs> the prep areas for food, including the coolers and freezers, with another very particular set of rules. It seems everywhere there's a rule, there's also a sign with the DHEC logo, like at the hand washing station. They're always checking the hand washing sinks to make sure hot water um, and that the paper towels and the soap are, are in stock. DHEC double checks all of this by doing visits twice a year. That's how they get their grades. Do they just walk around with a clipboard and like check off? They do, but they have thermometers and all kinds of gauges and things they, they use. So it's very hands on. Yes. Like testing the temperature of the water and sanitizer in the dish room. And then you dip the stick, and then it has to go between the 200 and the 400. But every test they take is a pop quiz. Every time it's a yes. surprise. Yes. So you never know when they're twice a year, twice a school year. Last time they stopped by, DHEC gave them a 99, only missing one point for an issue with some shelves. There was a little bit of rust on some of the shelves, which seems pretty normal. It seems normal, and I'm going to get them replaced, so I'll, I'll, I'll correct. I'll make a correction before um, the next report. Karen Johnson is the food services director for all of Aiken County. In the last year of reports, every school in the county got A's, except one. The lowest grade was an 88 at Aiken Prep for several violations, including having no certified food manager on staff and no sneeze guard for lettuce and tomatoes. On their follow-up inspection, they got a 96. The next lowest score was a 95 at Chucker Creek and Clearwater Elementary for three violations each. The inspector noticed chicken not cooled properly, some containers being stored on the floor, and a dead roach inside a drawer that was not used for food. But on a follow-up inspection just days later, each school scored 100. You got to stay on point every day. Mm -hmm. so we got to keep it safe. They are in a high-risk population because of their age. Your immune system hasn't fully developed. And so that puts them at risk. So we have to make sure that um, that food is safe when we serve it. And these carefree kids, they have eyes too. Kids are kind of critical the older they get because they'll even look at the dates on the milk. Forget about d -heck, it's the kids you got right. to <laughs> right. right. Food for thought the next time your student goes through the lunch line. I'm sure as a parent you don't know anything about kids being picky, do you? Is Ella picky? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Well, if you're sitting at home wondering what your school's grade is, I've compiled grades from the last year for every local South Carolina school. You can find that on our website, wrdw.com and 26nbc.com. And if you don't see your school, we have a link to the Food Grades website where you can search a map or the name of your school. So you can find all of that information on our website. I can tell you as a parent, 
I'm happy that they are so picky. Obviously, a little bit of rust on some shelves. Yeah. Not that big of a deal, but it lost a point. Yes. On, they, on the and, report card. And these things are very, very particular. So to have a high grade is a really impressive thing. And every school in our local area had very good grades. So it's a, it's a positive thing. Go check them out. I think you'll be impressed. That's really good to know. Really comforting information. You never know what you're going to find when you start looking at these inspection reports. That's true. We love it when we are able to report good, good news. Good things. I know.